President William Ruto has pledged to ensure his party will have a female deputy president in the near future. Speaking during the launch of the G7 Council Women Governors Caucus Strategy event at Safari Park, Ruto said he would sit down with his deputy Rai Gathi Gakagyu and agree that should the party front a man, the running mate must be a woman. The president said this will ensure his party leads from the front in supporting women and consequently help in attaining the two-thirds gender rule. The president said the same rule will be cascaded to counties where men governorship candidates will be required to have women running mates and vice versa. Ruto said this was an issue that requires support from all party leaders irrespective of their political stance, saying the leaders have been at the forefront of backing women vying for leadership positions. The president said the decision to have Imbu Governor Cecily Mariah as the chair of UDA was not by chance but deliberate. G7 is a caucus bringing together the seven elected women governors in the country. It seeks to empower and support women leaders in demonstrating efficient, transformational and strategic governance within the devolved structures. Last week, Ruto urged Kenyans to vote for women leaders when given a chance. The current number of seven women governors is a small but significant improvement on the results of the 2017 elections when three women were elected as governors. Cecilia Mbarire is the chair of UDA, not by default. It is deliberate and it is intentional. And one of the assignments she has is that we must as a party, lead from the front, and we must make it in the rules, uh, Madam Ann, uh, Madam uh, Cecily Mbarire, that when Rigiji and myself to kifika up on Bele, na tume pangana, tume kubaliana vile itaenda, we must also agree that going forward, if a man is a candidate for president in our party, the woman must be the runner. And, and if a woman is a candidate, then the, the man, a man can be running. Okay? And we must also cascade it down to the governors. So, and we must be intentional and deliberate about it, otherwise it will never happen. And I know fellow party leaders in other parties will agree with us because we all agree, because I'm sure the party leader in Waipa supported Wavinya, the party leader in uh, ODM supported uh, Gladys, and all the other party leaders supported, um, supported uh, their, their women uh, candidates. So we will do this not because we want to do anything against men, but we want to balance so that we all uh, move uh, together. And Madam says, you, as you undertake that exercise, you will have my 100% support.